بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام علی اشرف الخلق و عز المرسلین سیم خاتمہم و افضلہم و احسنہم حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ و علیہ وسلم و نسلی و نسلم علی جمیع الانبیاء والمرسلین و نسلی و نسلم علی اہل بیت رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ و علیہ وسلم و السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ Today is the 25th of the holy month of Ramadan 1443 or 2022 and we wish you a day a day of success we wish you a day full of ni'ma and baraka we wish you a day we we have changed some of the unpleasantness in our characters in our behavior which we have unfortunately adopted uh, unintentionally throughout our lives and if it is unpleasant and it is, and if it is not on the scale of good then let us let us get rid of it because every day when we open our eyes it's another opportunity for change change for the better change for positivity change to become sublime change for excellence change for superiority superiority in terms of taqwa superiority in terms of god consciousness where we move up the ladder so to speak of divinity of excellence inshallah and may we be successful in this regard and may this holy month of ramadan would have been the start of it inshallah we were speaking about about contentment where we should be contented with what we have meaning you are not ungrateful of what you have by the way being contented means you're grateful but that doesn't mean you don't want to expand your horizon not in an ego sense not in a greed sense not in a sense where you see things from others and you want those things in a negative way no in a positive way where you can expand and serve Allah and serve humanity even you know but not in a greedy sense let us look at a few anecdotes you know of our masters and one of them is Imam Muhammad al-Baqir where he mentioned and this is in the book of Al-Wafi where Imam al-Baqir salamullah alayhi says beware your eyes shouldn't rest on one more affluent than you what you have should satisfy you Allah has said to his holy prophet let not offspring and wealth put you on trial and he went on saying further you should not be envious of people who have more material wealth than you understand the idea is just to have to have to have to have uh, but that particular uh, feeling is saturated in greed this is the problem the Imam went on further saying you must remember the lifestyle of the Holy Prophet that hey, his food was barley and he used to hate, he used to, um, he used to eat, uh, he used to eat dates for dessert and that was the food of the Holy Prophet. So let us in this holy month of Ramadan adapt the character the attitudes, the behavior of our masters, starting with the Holy Prophet. Let's look at another anecdote, and that is from, and that is from Theo uh, John's Calabi, who was one of the savants of Greece, and he used to live a life of, you know, humble life, and he was one of the esteemed personalities at the time. He neither earned wealth nor made him even a you know, nice shelter to live in. So Alexander once summoned him to the court. When the messenger came to Diogenes, he told him, Tell Alexander on my behalf that, that what prevents him from coming to me 
is also preventing me from visiting him. This is Alexander the Great, you know. Why? His royal ego came in the way of visiting me and my contentment with why I am and what I have is stopping me from going to his court. See, beautiful content. Let us end off with this beautiful anecdote of Imam Jafar Sadiq who replied to the Abbasi Khalifa Mansur. And, and this is a beautiful story, you know, for us. Lots of wisdom, lots of gems in this. Let us give you this, inshallah, for this day. Mansur al-Abbasi wrote to Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam why he hasn't maintaining contact with him as was done by others. Why Imam Jafar Sadiq is not keeping in contact with Mansur the Khalifa, the Abbasi Khalifa at the time. So the Imam replied, Imam alayhi salam replied, we don't have any worldly things about which we might need to fear from you and you don't have anything for the year after for which we might be desirous. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We don't have any worldly things for which you are, look, you are craving for, you are desiring for and you've got no baraka. This is Imam Sadiq's words to the Khalifa, the Sultan, the Khalifa at the time. And Imam says, you don't possess any blessings for which we might facilitate you, nor are you afflicted with any calamity that we need to give condolences to you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's an akhlaq, an uh, ethical attack on the Khalifa. You should attend to our court only for the purpose of sermonizing us. This was the words of, of Mansur. Then Imam replied, One who is seeking the world doesn't need our, our advice. And the one who is looking forward to the year after wouldn't be in your company. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. You see, Imam contented. Not even fearing the Khalifa. The Khalifa is summoning him. And he's, yeah, Imam Jafar said, you have nothing for which I need to come to you. And I have nothing because he's a man of dunya, a man of wealth, a man looking at position and power and all of that. I have nothing like that for which that would be the reason that you would come to me. And you have no akhirah for me. Oh, beautifully, beautifully, you know. May we act like Imam Jafar Sadiq and our Master Salamullah Alayhi. And may this day be a day where we develop qana'a, where we develop contentment. Let us have contentment. Let nothing entice us so that we can be pushed towards or, or attracted to anything that is worldly and material. And inshallah with this, that is our wealth. That is wealth. And with this, we wish you a day of success, a day full of baraka, a day full of contentment. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.